job of directing their classmates. Like, you can come sit next to me. If, they, if they're not sure where to sit, they sit. Yeah. Eight seconds is still really good, you guys. You should still be really proud of that. Do we use the caterpillar or the turtle yesterday? We use the caterpillar. He's been so lonely. Well, he's not alone. Well, let's give him a little bit of love. Red means that you're angry. Purple means you're very excited. Blue means you're pretty sad. Yellow means that you're happy. Green means you're pretty sleepy. And pink just means that you're been loving the day. I feel yellow, green, and purple. I feel green and blue. I feel yellow right now. I feel blue because I think my Achilles got hurt. Alright, we are going to do something a little different we haven't done before. And that is something called compliments and appreciation. So for this activity, we're going to pass around our talking object. And we're going to go around our circle, and every person is going to think of one person in the class. So you can either give a compliment to someone, complimenting them for something you've seen them do that you just think is awesome, or you can appreciate them for something they've done for you to help you. Okay, so I'm going to give you a second to think. Um, I want to compliment Candy because she always makes me laugh. And oh. I want to compliment Ke Kevin and Roberto because there's, in this class, there's no one like friend, friend like Sawyer, Tyler, and they help me, they make me and laugh. And do the firecracker cheer. So the firecracker cheer, just like we're shooting off fireworks, you're gonna put your hands together. And so I'm gonna show you first, and then we'll do this together. So our firework is gonna shoot up into the air, and we're gonna go shh. When we get to the top, we're gonna clap, and then we're gonna go ah. Oh. Okay, ready? So let's all put our hands together. Because everyone can express their feelings, and if somebody's not feeling pretty sad, then then we can know that we can help them out or something. Because it helps us more as to be a team. All of us get together and talk about what's happening in our lives. We get to hear the how the other students feel. I like classroom meetings because you can share how you feel, and uh, I. I feel a lot of things. But I think that class meetings are so important because it gives me as a teacher an insight into how my students are feeling. We assess them so much on academics, but we fail to assess their social and emotional every day, how they're feeling. And that makes, that, that has a huge implication in how they perform in your classroom. I can't even begin to tell you how many times I've had students who are acting out and then later I come to find out that they just had a really rough morning at home. And so class meetings are just a quick time during the day where I get a chance to hear from each kid and I can hear how they're doing. If I have a kid who's sharing that they're sad every day, then I know something's going on at home and it gives me that frame of reference when I'm working with them in my classroom. Um, it also, students love it. Even if they don't share a lot, they're, they're, they just can't wait to have a meeting where they get to be in the spotlight for one moment and they get to share how they're doing. So I think it's worth, well worth your time and you'll notice a big difference in your classroom when you start doing it. You can add things later on um, to make it more elaborate, like, like problem solving and today we did compliments and appreciations, but you don't have to do that. It can be a very just quick snapshot. Uh, so I encourage you to try it out. Um, see the impact it has in your classroom and good luck.